Hello, Purple Rosa here, and I'm continuing on in Western Skyrim with the main quest and with the Queen being assassinated by a vampire. I am now going to go to Fenorian to see how he's tracking with his Harrowstorm research and to talk to him about the vampire that assassinated the Queen. But yeah, it's a shame she died. I assume she was a target because she was helping us and they know that we're getting close to finding out what they're doing. So here's Fenorian. So this is the wise woman. Local wisdom dictates that only the very brave or the very foolish seek the counsel of vampires and old crones. Which are you, I wonder? Well, out with it. What can old Mjolin do for you? Uh, I'm probably brave and foolish. <laughs> yeah, she seems cool. So she lives in a tent. Welcome to the middle of nowhere, my friend. You must be freezing. Warm yourself by the fire and tell me how your audience with the High King went. I'm fine. I've got layers of clothing. <laughs> Not well. The Ice Reach Coven assassinated Queen Gerhild. Now Svagen distrusts us even more. A bold move, even for them. Old Mjolin and I have been comparing notes, and we've made some progress studying the Harrowstorm ritual. What happened to your large friend with the axe, by the way? Lyra stayed behind to safeguard Princess Svana. I need your help. The assassin is a vampire. We knew that vampires were working with the Coven. And old Mjolin and I can say with certainty that the feral Harrow fiends are byproducts of Harrow Storms. You think the assassin was one of the vampires in league with the Coven? I know it was a vampire. He wore an eye patch and dropped his medallion when he fled. An eye patch? That's uncommon. And this insignia, I've seen it before. It's the same as the symbol that decorates the urns smuggled out of Bankarai. If it belongs to a vampire bloodline, I'm not familiar with it. I suggest you ask Mjolin. Yeah. So, the wise woman's not afraid of vampires at all. Yeah, that is cool. Old Mjolin isn't an expert on vampire clans. She is, however, a diviner. The clever woman can learn the most interesting things studying melting snowflakes and mammoth teeth. Talk to her and see what she can tell you about that medallion. I wonder why she's not afraid of vampires, though. Local wisdom dictates that only the very brave or the very foolish seek the counsel of vampires and old crones. Which are you, I wonder? Well, out with it. What can old Mjolin do for you? What can you tell me about this medallion? A grim talisman. It bears an enchantment of some kind, though the symbol upon it holds no significance that I'm aware of. I can help find the owner of this medallion. But I need some specific items to cast such a divination. What do you need? Bring me the bones of a wolf and a death bell plant pulled up by its roots. I need the plant alive. The wolf... Not so much. With those reagents, I can conjure a divination that will lead you directly to the last person to wear this medallion. Ooh, nice. I'll go gather the regents and return soon. Death bell grows throughout the bog. You should have no trouble acquiring it. Wolves are plentiful in the wilderness around Morthol as well, but be cautious. Many seem afflicted by a strange curse. I would hate for you to run afoul of it. What kind of curse? An icy rime clings to the wolves, sapping the heat and life from their bodies until only a frigid, shambling corpse remains. 
You are safe from them here. But be mindful out in the wild. Ugh. Yeah, I don't want to get that curse. <laughs> Gather the reagents for Mjolin quickly. Divination spells are more potent when the items in question carries the fresh scent of its owner. Cool. Okay, so gotta kill a wolf. And get the death bell plant. This way. It's a bear. Two bears. Of course. Pull it out by the roots and then go kill a wolf. There's a barrow here. What is this place? It's just a random dead wolf. There's a troll. We'll avoid that troll. Okay, there should be wolf over here. Someone's house over there. Oh yeah, look at them. Frost cursed skeletal wolf. Nord wolf bone. Frost cursed farmer. What is this frost curse? Interesting. If it's that close to Morthal, I wonder if the town's in danger. Guess we'll see when we go into Mothal. But first we have to find this vampire that killed the queen. Avenge her for Svana. Ooh, heavy set. Oh, uh, I'm going the wrong way. Here you go. I've got it. Welcome back. Warm yourself by the fire and tell me about the reagents I requested. Here are the wolf bones and the death bell you asked for. Good, good. Divinations can be fickle. The longer we delay, the colder the trail grows. Let's see if we can catch the scent of your prey. All right. Mother Wolf, hear me. We seek your blessing in our hunt. Lead us to our elusive quarry. Did it work? Mother Wolf smiles upon you. She has seen fit to join your pack and aid you in your hunt. How will that help me find the vampire assassin? Mother Wolf has the scent and will lead you to your quarry. I have enchanted the medallion with a divination spell inextricably linked to its owner. Hold it to your nose and breathe deeply. It will guide you along his trail. It will take me directly to him? Mother Wolf will guide you along the way, but you must still complete the hunt and find him. If the assassin eludes you, use the medallion to recover his trail. The wolf is relentless in her pursuit. The question is, will you be like the wolf? I'll try. I'll find the queen's assassin. You gonna come for Norian? Fascinating. Every divination appears to be unique. Go ahead and use the medallion. Old Mjoland and I need to get back to our study of the Harrowstorm ritual. Oh, fine. Don't join me then. I'll go kill
kill it myself. And look, the magic points to the west. That it does. What an interesting use of primitive magic. That was clearly your vampire assassin. He even wore an eye patch. It looked like he was at a small camp. And you saw that ball of magicka? It went to the west. That must be where you'll find the camp. So the enchanted medallion showed a vision and provided a direction when I used it. Didn't I tell you? The clever woman's magic can be quite exciting. Not my usual process of investigation, but effective just the same. I'll leave old Mjolin to continue our research and follow after you. I want to see how the divination plays out. He is coming. Cool. Uh, which way was it? That way. Oh, there's a Harris storm up over there. I did do the one here before. Just before I started doing this quest, because it spawned. It was the second Harris storm I've done. The first one I did was that one. And there wasn't that many people there, but we still did it. But yeah, it was intense. <laughs> I didn't really know what I was doing, but then I worked out you have to destroy the pikes. Because the, uh... Bosses just kept spawning, we were getting overwhelmed. But, in the end, we did it. A few more people came. It was fun. But yeah, the Harris storm I did just there had a lot of people, so we did it quickly, which was good. A wisp mother. Guess we'll kill her. Sorry, wisp mother. And there's a wisp, but it's not attacking me. I want to get this guy shot. Oh, what's that down there? There's werewolves. Interesting. The crafting bits up there. I've gone off track a bit. <laughs> Let's get back on track. So yeah, this is the one of the craft areas. Which one is it? I haven't really looked at the Stun's favor set. Nothing I would use. <laughs> oh, that's cool. He's sharpening his antlers. That's cool. <laughs> but yeah, we have a good view from up here. Just gotta be careful going down. Okay, so, where's this camp? Should be down there. I don't see no camp. Oops. We're okay. <laughs> but I just see a corpse over here. Yep. The assassin drained her of blood. Judging by the state of her body, she hasn't been dead very long. Use the medallion again. The assassin might be nearby. Cool. Okay. 
He must have been desperate to feed while trying to escape. He does have an eye patch. I wonder why a vampire would need an eye patch. Maybe he lost his eye before he became a vampire? But wouldn't it? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Is it wrong to find these visions so intriguing? This one showed your assassin again, eye patch and all by a cave near a waterfall. And the ball of magicka drifted toward the west again. I suggest we go that way as quickly as possible. What about the victim we found here? There's nothing we can do for her. The vampire assassin drained all the blood from her body. He took his time with her, I think. Probably needed to recover his strength after the events at the palace. Let's get after him before the trail grows cold. Let's. So, a cave. I guess that way to Chillwind Depths. Haven't done that delve yet. Maybe do the quest at the same time. So yeah, good thing I'm dressed for the weather. It's rather cold right now. <laughs> oh, there's a little bear cub. That's cute. I'll leave you alone. You and your mother. Um, going the wrong way. Up this way. Yeah, there is a quest. May as well grab it for going in as well. Hedrin isn't well. A Charis bit her, one of those giant cave bugs. The bite of a Charis, it carries an acidic poison. Very deadly. I don't think she's going to last much longer. Perhaps you can help us. Please, talk to my brother, Hamvir. Ah, oh. Charis, I hate Charis. <laughs> oh, traveler. You must turn back. Chill wind depths, it's crawling with giant insects. I need to go inside and gather ingredients to heal my sister. But the things in there, they keep chasing me out. Well, I need to go in there to find this assassin. What's wrong with your sister? I'm a humble healer from Dragon Ridge. My family, my brother, my sister and I, we came to gather plants and other medicinal ingredients. Hedrin wandered too close to this cave. That's when the Charis attacked her. A Charis? One of the giant insects I told you about. My brother needs to stay by Hedrin's side. So, I'm trying to enter the cave. If I can gather a few special ingredients, I can make an elixir to heal my sister. Could you? Would you? Help me. I'll help you gather the ingredients you need to save your sister. Oh, thank you. I wasn't able to take three steps into the cave before something attacked me. I am a healer and not very good in battle. We need to find a chill wind mushroom, deep lichen, and an unfertilized charis egg. Then I can heal my sister. Tell me more about the ingredients you need. Chillwind mushrooms can only be found in this cave. The bugs eat them and the deep lichen that grows on the walls. Well, when they aren't munching on people. Uh, mixed with an unfertilized Charis egg, they create a powerful antidote to Charis poison. What can you tell me about Chillwind depths? The cave system consists of winding caverns. 
There is a lot of wildlife down there. Uh, some of it is the usual things you'd expect to find underground. Some of it, like the giant insects, is more exotic. It's dangerous, but we need those ingredients. Tell me about your sister. Hedrin's as sweet as honeysuckle, but tough as steel. Everybody loves her. She's younger than me, and I've been training her in the healing arts. But... If I can't make the elixir in time... No, I can't think like that. We'll save her. We have to. I'll help. I have to... Search for the assassin anyway while in here. Just don't be alarmed if Norian shows up randomly. <laughs> he tends to do that quite a lot. See? Yes. This is definitely the place in the vision. I'll slip past and scout ahead. Use your vampire stealth, whatever that is. Remember, we're looking for a chillwind mushroom, deep lichen, and an unfertilized charis egg. Be on your guard. More dwells in the depths than just giant insects. So, yeah. Uh... So, Fenorian is scouting a hit for us. But yeah, we gotta gather these ingredients. Yeah. Sorry, bear. So, go this way. Oh, what's in here? Nothing? But yeah, you can tell by the... Like, this area. You can tell it would be really cold in here. And like... Yeah, really cold. <laughs> Watch out for oh. giant bugs. They poisoned my sister. I'm alright. Well, they died quickly. And there's Thelma here too, I think. Oh, that's a biggie. That's a big one. Whoa. Oh, yuck. So, yeah, there might be some Falma here. Yep, there's one. I used to hate them in Skyrim. <laughs> like, going. Like, I loved going the Dwarven Dells. But. I hated the Falmer because they just were everywhere. A chill with muscle. Ah, and a fine specimen at that. Good work. A lot of dead travelers. Here. Oh, look at this cave. It's so pretty. More Chorus X. Deep Lichen. Take it. Deep Lichen. The giant insects love this stuff. So... Continue that in a second, because... I think Fenorian's gone this way, but I'm not sure. I've always wondered, like with the Chorus and the Falmar, like they 
technically live side by side, why don't they attack each other? What's over here? Hang on. Secluded hideaway? Is this where the assassin is? <gasps> Valorian! Ah, I'll deal with you next time you fight me. How dare you! Are you okay? Once again, I prove that I'm a scholar, not a warrior. I don't think he expected another vampire, though. I see you found him. I hope you're alright, though. I found the camp. Thought it was deserted, but the assassin must have been hiding in the shadows. He got the drop on me. He stabbed you! This didn't hurt you too badly, though, before he got away. It had more to do with your arrival than anything I did. Luckily, he left behind his belongings when he departed. I saw a map and some documents over there. Why don't you take a look while I deal with this wound? I'll see what I can find. Glad Fenorian's alright. He just got full on stabbed. Pentarch Corp. The Harrowstorm at Kilcreath met with unexpected resistance. Our enemies have taken notice of our movements and seek to expose our plans. They are meddlesome, but few in number. Deprive them of their sympathetic ear at court and we may pluck two thorns from our side in one simple stroke. The coven has lost a beloved sister and they cry for vengeance. Indulge them, my brother. R. I'm not sure who this R is. Crude map. That's very crude. Some sort of cave? Assassin's letter. Pentarch Corp. The mining consortium is in place and ready for your use. None of these stupid miners have any idea what they have unwittingly signed on for, nor do they truly know the extent of the majestic terrain spread before them. They will do the work and guard their secrets closely, ensuring our own secrets remain undiscovered in the darkness below. We shall continue to replenish the workers periodically, so feel free to dine or send them to your alchemist as you see fit. They're gonna feed on them! And when the time comes to perform the ritual, they will be in place to provide the energy we need. Sister Thalda. So as I suspected in the prologue, I think it was, I said they're actually taking the life force from the people to use in some ritual. And the Harrophines are a byproduct. I didn't get a good look at that before. Mind bringing it over? Sure. Let me take a look at what you found. Of course, there are two letters and a map. The letters are both addressed to the Vampire Assassin. Pentarch Corb. That's an unusual title. This one gives the order to assassinate the Queen, where the language is guarded. The other talks about miners and a final ritual. Very ominous. What do you make of the map? It looks like a map to a mine in Carthold. It could be the one mentioned in the letter. If that's the target of another Harrowstorm ritual, we need to stop it. Head south to the mine. I'll get word to Lyris and have her meet you there. Lyris is in solitude. I thought you tried to avoid large cities. My particular habits aside, one of us needs to find the assassin and the other needs to alert Lyris Titanborn. I can handle the latter. Besides, I have no intention entering solitude. A courier should have no trouble picking Lyris out of a crowd. True. She's taller than any Nord. <laughs> you can't miss her huge axe. So, yeah. I'm glad Fenorian's alright, but he's a vampire. The blood he drank from his flask would have healed him. So, let's continue... 
getting the last ingredient, so Hamvia can help your sister here. Or she will die from the Chorus bite. Which poisoned her. I kind of want to get a good look at the Falma. Yeah, they look like the ones from Skyrim. Ugly. They used to be snow elves. But the... Dwarves, I think, experimented on them? I can't remember. Ugh! Chorus came out an egg. I suppose if the Thalma raised the Chorus from the eggs, they probably trained them, which is why they don't. How do I... Ah, down here. I knew there was a pathway. I never would have gotten this far without your help. Let's be careful and find the rest of what I need. This one's a big chorus. Mother Kirk Kirk Kirk. She was a big yarn. So I need a chorus egg, an unfertilized one. But where? Ah, here. We've got it. So I've got to meet him outside. That's everything. Uh, meet me outside and bring those ingredients so I can prepare the elixir. On it. So, I missed uh, getting that sky shot. But I'll get that later, I'll come back. We'll finish off this quest. So hopefully this will help your sister. Quickly, Traveller, give me the ingredients so I can make the elixir for my sister. Here are the ingredients we gathered from the cave. Chillwind mushroom, a patch of deep lichen, and an unfertilized charis egg. Perfect! With these, it's only a matter of time before Hedrin is as good as new. Thank you. Uh, please, accept this humble gift along with my gratitude. No problem, I'm glad I could help. You have done a great service for my family, Traveler. Now my sister has a chance. I'll craft a curative and administer it to her as soon as possible. Thank you again. I only hope it's not too late to save her. Mara and Kain willing. My elixir will work and she will be on her feet in no time. I couldn't have done it without you, Traveler. Glad to help. May Azura... Watch over her. You kept my brother safe and made it possible to heal my sister. You have my thanks, Traveler. No problem. So yeah, that was cool. Got to see some Charis and Falma. And I was worried for Norian. He got badly hurt there, but he didn't. Because he's a vampire. He can heal. <laughs> So now I have to go follow the map to the mine, which is down there, but continue that in the next one. Thanks for watching.